Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing, or thanks for stopping by if this is your first time coming to the channel. Today, got a little product review for you guys. Just picked up the other day this item. It is a Rogue Fishing Co. The Protector 2.0 Strap. So it's a silicone phone protector. I'm gonna show you guys how this works in action, and I took it out on the water so you can see a little clip of that as well as like basically how much I trust this thing now that I've tested it out a few times. Uh, before we get to the review and talk about this item, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you like the content. Hit that like button, drop a comment below, help grow the channel, share it with your friends, things like that, help me out a lot. And then hit that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Let's get right to it. So this is the Rogue Fishing Co. As far as I know, a newer company. Uh, they've got a few decent products out. This is just one, the first one that I picked up from them. And right off the bat, I had a good experience. You know it's important, uh, dealing with customer service, shipping, all that stuff, to have a good experience if you wanna go back to a company. Cool things that happened for me, shipping was quick, it was easy. Uh, even in these like really weird times that were going on, you guys dealing with shipping issues during quarantine, uh, with, with the whole, you know, you know, you, you know, you know what's going on. Uh, but manufacturing being down, all that jazz, these guys did pretty awesome. They took care of me. And anytime you get a nice little handwritten note from the team, that's always nice to see. I enjoy that. I appreciate that. Uh, I've been a business owner myself, uh, a few different businesses that I've run, and I can really appreciate customer service like that. Um, no affiliation with this company, by the way, just giving you guys an unbiased review right now. So this is it. Pretty simple structure, right? So we've got a couple different pieces here. You've got a nice carabiner. We've got a little shock cord that's actually really heavy duty. Uh, feels really nice. Feels like it's not going to just lose that coil or come undone. I'm not really worried about this as far as quality or durability as a retractor. You guys can see that right there. And we've got our little leash set up here, which looks like it is shrink wrapped, possibly replaceable, we'll see. Uh, but shrink wrapped with a good solid metal coupling in there. So they, they've sort of crimped this piece together right there, shrink wrapped, heat shrinked right around that to protect it. And then we've got our main leash here, which by the way, when you get this whole doodad, you get it in two different pieces. So you get this piece, and you get this piece, and you actually get a nice little metal ring. I'll show you what I did uh, with that here in a second. You're just gonna take that part of the leash, run it through this. I'll show you what that's for here too, right there, and then just tie it over. So pretty simple install, if you will. Uh, so this ring's really nice. We're gonna use my phone in a second, but that is to put your finger through so you can take your fish selfies, or you can record that release shot. We're gonna set it up on my phone, now I have the iPhone 11, so this is sort of a in-between, but leaning towards a larger size phone. My wife has an iPhone 8 Plus, and I think like the iPhone 11 Max is a little bigger than that. This setup fits the 8 Plus. I think it even fits like, uh, what are they, like the Galaxy Notes, which I think are bigger than this. Um, so it's a fairly universal size, and as you can see, like this silicone adapter looks pretty small before you pop it over. But it's a really simple setup, so you take like the taller side, right above our little finger key ring here. We're gonna just loop those silicone pieces over. We've got the bottom piece here, we're just gonna stretch that all the way down over the corners of the phone. Boom, boom. Now, depending on your camera setup, you're gonna see that the silicone passes over in front of the phone there. Not a big deal. You'll know where your camera is and then you can always just test this thing out. So I usually just open up the camera. The camera's open, you can see it facing me. Hi. And then we're gonna go to flip that. Cool, so you can selfie yourself right there. You can see that camera. Uh, you turn around, you make sure that the silicone is not in the way of the camera, and as long as it's not, you're good to go. This is set. Look at durability. This is not falling out of this. Uh, you'll see on my on the water, I actually did this with it uh, while I was in the water. So if you wanna test it yourself, make sure it's gonna hold up to your needs. There you go. While you're using this, you also have the benefit of this mobile finger ring on the back, which you can rotate, depending on if you wanna do like a landscape shot, boom, or if we wanna go portrait style, boom. So it covers full spectrum of what you need to do. 
front facing back facing camera you can see is open as well so you always just want to make sure positioning is good as long as the silicone is covering those corners we are good to go this is not going to fall off now you have your carabiner so if i'm bank fishing i might just clip it to my pants you probably can't see that <laughs> clip it to my pants though so if i want to get that release shot I'm leaning over a railing or something, a retaining wall, anything like that, and I want to get my shot, I can stretch that cord out, take my pick, and not have to worry about accidentally dropping my phone. If you guys have dropped your phone, by the way, without having something like this, this nice little retractor here, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your stories. We got so many good stories on our last fishing outing where I experienced a really bad time. It's uh, <laughs> just hearing about other people's bad times made me feel so good. You know, it's just another day of fishing. It's par for the course. Uh, so if you've lost a phone, I want to hear those stories. Drop in the comments below. Um, all right, so what I'll do on the water, though, when I'm in the kayak or you guys are in your boat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a nerd here for a second. Whatever you want to think of, safety first, safety first, safety first. Uh, I always wear my PFD. So if I'm wearing the PFD, when you order this setup, this little split ring here, okay? Or you can find one, they're super cheap. So I'll take my carabiner, clip it to that split ring just like that. And then it's right up here at chest height, easier to maneuver, take the pictures however I need to do. So if I'm in my boat, I wanna get that, you know, view down at the water shot, or I wanna go underwater, you got a waterproof phone or whatever, I'm not worried about losing this phone because again, very durable. And if I let go of it entirely, this carabiner's got my back, it's buckled up to a life jacket. So then I can take this whenever I'm not using it, whoop, stuff it right in that pocket, go on paddling, pedaling, whatever I'm doing, casting, don't have to worry about it. So all in all, pretty rad little device there. And What's even better than all of that is that the price for this thing is $14.99 and their shipping was like two bucks to me. Uh, I'm in the States. These guys are located. These guys are in Tennessee, so like right in the middle of the U.S. I'm in Michigan. Shipping to me was like $2.78. So pretty slick, man. I'm really happy with it. Um, you guys want to see this in action on the water? Check this out right now. This right here is called the Protector and it's by Rogue Fishing Co. It is on a silicone strap. As you can see, I'm not really worried about my phone going anywhere. Throw it and swing it around, whatever, right? And I just wanted to show you this on the water. I'll do like a full review in the office because it's kind of windy today. Uh, but so we'll, we'll take it back to the Burley Fishing Lab. Just wanted to show you that. Pretty sweet, got a nice little key ring on the back. Pop your finger through that, right? So you snap your selfie. It's actually way easier to hold than normally. Uh, get your little grip and grin fish selfie. Uh, maybe camera's still accessible on the back, right? So you still get your release shot. Whatever you want to do. Pretty cool little thing, and it comes with this nice strap. That's super heavy duty uh, extension cord, stretchy cord situation here. And it carabiners, actually, right there, carabiner to whatever part of your boat. I ended up putting the, comes with a split ring. So I put that split ring on the life jacket there. Pretty cool little thing. So I just want to show you on the boat. Let's get back to the office. Let's get out of this wind. It's cold out here. All right, guys. So as you can see, I obviously have put some faith into this product. I did, of course, test this on dry land, as you saw here, before I was comfortable enough taking it out on the water and doing that little spin trick, okay? Uh, please do that too. Make sure you're rigging it properly. Cool thing though about this company is they have a one year guarantee where if anything on this breaks, they'll replace it for free. Awesome. And if you ever need to replace the silicone piece right here, they actually sell it separately for $4.99. So not a bad deal at all, I would say. My overall thoughts on this is that it is a heavy duty rig, something I could trust, rely on, something that you really want in a product like this, being that it needs to protect your investment, your phone. Uh, they ain't cheap, right? So all in all, solid product, something I would highly recommend to you guys checking out. It's Rogue Fish & Co. The strap itself is called the Protector 2.0, and it's like $14.99 online. Shipping's pretty cheap, so go check them out, man. Support this company. Go check it out, guys. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. This is just my unbiased review. I think it's sweet. And if you guys like the video, be sure to, again, 
hit that subscribe button, smash that like, hit the notification bell, all those cool things. Uh, really helps my channel out. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts if you have an experience with this product specifically. Maybe other products you think are way better than this one. Prove me wrong, right? I think this is pretty amazing for the, the cost of it. And of course, if you guys have any stories about losing your phone in the water, let me know that too, because I love story time. It's been a lot of fun. Stay tuned. We still have an MTB versus Monster Bass unboxing coming up for the month of May. Should be the next video that I drop, and we'll see you guys on the water.